hey Virgos, hey Virgos, hey, hey Virgos, hey Virgos, hey. All right, I'm just joking. <laughs> but hey Virgos. All right, this is your uh, energy reading for October 6th, Cutie Patooties. This is what we got going on. We got the Page of Wands to the uh, Devil here, to the Fool, to the Ace of Cups, to the Queen of Cups, Virgos, to the King of Cups, Virgos, to the Death, to the Nine of Swords, Cuties. Oh, to the Six of Cups, Virgos, to the to the Three of Wands, Cutie Pies, to the Eight of Pentacles, the King, Temperance, the so, Ace of Swords, pardon me, and to the Four of Pentacles, Virgo, Someone Rising in Venus. So this is what we got going on, Virgos. There's somebody here that you guys were dealing with. You guys could have been dealing with an Aries heavy, a Capricorn heavy, um, Aries Leo Sagittarius, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, heavy Sagittarius energy as well. And Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cutie Pies. All right, so there's an, there's an, um, <clears throat> There's a fire sign that's going to be wanting to come back and talk to you, Virgos, but just to let you guys know that they're not as toxic as they used to be. They're trying to come out of it, okay? They might be coming back in specifically for, you know, passion and physical connection for you, with you, Virgos, because this is the type of person who takes a leap of faith with everything that they do in life. They, um, they don't need a whole lot, Virgos. I mean, this is the type of person who takes adventures all the time. They, they're you know they can take adventures on their own they don't need a whole lot virgos okay and uh coming to the devil card here to the ace of wands to the page to the full card here this is just letting me know this is somebody who like who's gonna come back towards you virgos okay they, this person doesn't need a whole lot okay they're kind of humble but they also do whatever it is that they have to do to get whatever it is that they want. So this is letting me know, Virgo, somebody wants to come back here in two ways. Somebody wants to come back towards you, Virgos, to have a new beginning with you. Uh, but they are coming in as a devil in reverse. And then it's also letting me know that this person is coming back in towards you, Virgos, uh, wanting, wanting to communicate with you. But they're coming in with a lot of passion. They may also want to have a physical connection with you. So just be mindful on what this person's intentions is when they're coming towards you. Okay, cutie pies? Um, nonetheless, the Fool to the Ace of Cups to the Queen of Cups, Virgo, Someone Rising in Venus, this is letting me know that somebody here or this Aries that you guys are dealing with has a lot of love for you, Virgos, okay? They want to be with you, it looks like, all right, cutie pies? When I clarified the Ace of Cups, I got the Seven of Cups, Virgos, I mean Seven of Pentacles, pardon me. This is letting me know that this person is... Um, is uh loving you they want to succeed with you virgos it looks like they want to plant the, it's like they want to see where the seeds can go with this with this relationship so i think someone's going to be returning back towards you virgos okay this person sees you as a beautiful queen virgo someone rising in venus you guys are coming in as a queen of cups you guys got your crown on you guys got your blue dress on you guys are definitely protected by the divine virgos you guys have your own cup of love and um you guys don't really need a whole lot of stuff like you have you you can already you already filled your own cup with love is what I'm trying to say okay cutie pies nonetheless on the bottom here I got the king of cups in reverse Virgos all right I have the death card here Scorpio heavy energy as well uh, nine of swords six of cups and the sun card right over here, okay, Virgos? So this is letting me know that you guys could be dealing with somebody who is emotionally imbalanced at the moment, Virgos, okay? Uh, I think they're kind of upset with the fact that how the situation has ended between you and them, all right? So you guys are coming in beautiful as the queen of cups, but then there's also another king of cups here on the table as well, which is letting me know you guys might be uh, soulmate counterparts. Not only that, maybe you guys were married as well or actually already in a relationship with each other, okay? Because you guys are definitely vibrating on the same uh, energy level here, Virgos. But nonetheless, the king of cups, Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy here is letting me know that... This person could have been a narcissist, Virgos, okay? Maybe that's why you guys ended up ending the relationship with this person because they were a little bit narcissistic. They kind of always thought about themselves, always put themselves first all the time, Virgos. Never really considered your feelings and stuff like that, okay? But nonetheless, it was over. You guys ended the relationship that you guys were dealing with, okay? Cutie Pie is coming here with uh, the Death card Scorpio energy. It caused a lot of stressful nights, Virgos. I mean, this... Cancer Pisces Scorpio has suffered a lot mentally, okay? They suffered a lot um, 
had sleepless nights, insomnia, they're trying to find wisdom, they're, trying, they're, they're literally staying up all night, Virgo, trying to figure out, how do I go back to my Virgo, someone rising in Venus, like, they're really thinking about their future now, Virgo's coming here with the Six of Cups, like, they, all of a sudden, the, it's like, the anxiety and the sleepless nights is, is starting to make them reminisce and trying to figure out what it is that they want for the, from their future, right, Virgos, okay, to the sun card here, this person just wants to be happy with you, Virgos. Literally, this person just wants to be happy with you, okay? The sun card here, this person wants to be happy with you, Virgos. All right, uh, nonetheless, I don't know if you guys are going to be waiting on this connection coming here with the three of wands, Virgos. Um, I'm not sure exactly what happened in the previous past when it comes to this energy right here because it's not showing me that. It's just specifically showing me that this person's ready to come back and, and communicate with you. All right. Maybe in the recent past, it was more of a sexual based connection. Okay, Virgos. Um, and where it's very sad because at the end of the day, you did have a lot of love for this person. Okay. Coming here with the Ace of Cups, Cutie Pies. You did have a lot of love that you were able to give to this person at the same time. But this person seemed to be a little bit uh, in their own in their own ways and that's why it came in here to the devil card as well so maybe this person's narcissistic and a little bit uh devilish okay virgos so what i mean by devilish toxic uh still bound to their past drinking um smoking okay heavy heavy drugs whatever the case is whatever whatever toxic is whatever toxic is is, is like doing something too much and they shouldn't be doing it excessively like that okay nonetheless this person is definitely stressing over you Virgos I mean it's coming to the nine of swords here okay at the end of the day I don't know if you guys are going to be wanting to wait for this for like to be waiting to be happy with this person I think you guys are going to start thinking about yourselves Virgos okay coming here with the eight of pentacles you guys are definitely not going to want to work on this situation here with this person I got Aries Leo Sagittarius here as well this is somebody who's non-committal Virgos they're coming in as a as a, a king of wands to the King of Cups, this worries me a little bit, Virgos, because their emotions are definitely imbalanced, but they also come in with a lot of passion. This is somebody, if you guys were dealing with a narcissist, this is definitely letting me know that this narcissist was almost in a way sweet, but dominant, but narcissistic, but toxic, but loving, but passionate, and their emotions was all over the place so at any time they could have snapped is what i'm trying to say okay so but because it's coming in as a king of wands virgos um oh virgos this person was like not is like non-committal and that's why i feel like that's why you guys ended it here with the devil card to the death to the king of wands because you knew that this person wasn't uh, a committed type of, a committal type of person and that's probably why the ace of swords is up here because maybe it was more of a sexual based connection all right virgos all right so you guys could have been dealing with the sagittarius as well virgos i don't know if you guys are going to want to heal with this person <clears throat> I feel like maybe the Sagittarius does uh, have a drinking problem, Virgos. Not everybody, but I mean, when it just becomes to a specific Sagittarius, just take it as it resonates. I feel like a Sagittarius specifically uh, could potentially be somewhat of a drinker for sure. I don't know if they're an alcoholic, but they are somebody who likes to drink on a Friday night and on a Saturday night for sure, Virgos. All right. Nonetheless, here we go. Ace of Swords. Okay. I got the Ace of Swords, so the truth is going to be coming out, Virgos, all right? There's something here that you don't see, so make sure you look at something from a higher perspective because you guys are going to have to see it uh, at more of a, a bird-eye view in order for you to actually see the truth for exactly what it is. This person may potentially come back towards you, Virgo, and just tell you the truth for what it is, uh, and then they may just honestly just tell you that they were giving to other people. Yep. They, may, they actually may just come out straight up and let you know you know what, Virgo, someone rising in Venus, I'm sorry. At the end of the day, I was giving to too many people. I was giving to too many things. I was giving to work. I was giving to my ting. I was giving to you. I was giving to my family. I was giving to my dog, my cat, whatever the case is, okay? They're giving to too many people here, Virgos. They want to come back and balance the scales out with you as well. They want to just come come and tell you the truth they feel like maybe if they just tell you straight up what exactly had happened and what the truth is then maybe you're going to forgive them and and take it in a way where okay well you know they told me the truth uh this this is how the person is thinking 
if I just tell Virgo, Summon, Rising, and Venus the truth, maybe they will take me back. Maybe Virgo, Summon, Rising, and Venus will understand and appreciate my honesty. And then they will take me back and remember how much love I had for them. But, you know, Virgos, I mean, I can say whatever it is that I, I, I can say from my perspective. But at the end of the car, at the end of the day, my angels and your angels are letting us know for our pentacles. No, Virgos. No. You're not going to allow somebody to to feel like they can come and and run up on you and and, and put you in situations where they're going to have to be, where where they where they are not where they have you as an option okay i got too many hands here virgo this is three different hands these are three different people who are begging for your person's attention okay cutie pies to the four of pentacles you guys are going to keep hold on your heart virgos you're going to keep your heart safe okay um no Virgos, that's it. Okay, I don't see, I don't see you giving your person your heart anymore. Okay, your, they can come and take the key and unlock it, but I mean at the end of the day, it's not happening because regardless whether this person takes the key and wants to unlock to get to your heart, you have your hand over the, over the key part. You know where you stick the key in, in it and then you unlock it. Yeah, your hand is over it. So for that. You're blocking it. You're blocking anything that's going to be coming back towards you, putting you in a situation where you're not going to feel worthy of it. All right. I got a few cards here, Virgos. Um, so the cards that I got here was this one. I also got this, this, and this one, Virgos. Okay, I got four cards, the four of wands, the five of cups, the hierophant, and the page of pentacles. You guys could have also been dealing with a uh, Taurus, a Virgo, okay? I mean, what, what, Taurus? Yeah, okay, so sorry. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, Virgos. All right, maybe so, this is like a different message now, okay? So maybe Virgos, you guys were married or in a long, or in a commitment with somebody, uh, but nonetheless, coming here to the Five of Cups, to the Hierophant, you guys are no longer in a relationship with this person anymore. You guys could have been uh, divorced from this person as well, but nonetheless, something good is going to be coming towards you, Virgos, uh, coming here with the Page of Pentacles, okay? There's going to be somebody, This maybe the person that you guys divorced is going to try and offer you a little bit of money or give you a gift or of some sort, but regardless, just to let you guys know, that if you guys are the ones that are feeling sad because you guys got into into a divorce, just take the time that you guys can take to heal yourselves from this uh, divorce situation, Virgos, because it looks like it was definitely painful. Nonetheless, the person that you guys were dealing with, maybe it was a Taurus that you guys were dealing with, okay, Virgos, uh, this person is definitely going through sadness, depression, remorse, regret. They're definitely suffering, Virgos, at the moment, okay? So at the bottom of the deck, this is letting me know, Ten of Cups, Two, seven of cups uh, in reverse virgos um if you guys were if you guys have children and were, or was married or you know just take it as it resonates oh, your person is definitely having money problems virgos they don't have a way to get a job they're stressed out they're kind of um <laughs> yeah there we go they're kind of sad they're sad virgos because they don't have any money they're sad i don't know if you know what I mean? Just take it as it resonates, but this is letting me know. Somebody here, okay, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, doesn't have any money in any way, shape, or form. They don't. The Ace of Pentacles is done. Not only that, the situation between you and your person, Virgos, is dried out now. It's dried out. There's no point of forcing a relationship just to force it, okay? I'm telling you, it's done. It's finished, okay? It's complete. Coming here to the Two of Cups. You guys could have been soulmates, Virgos. All right? There's an Aquarius here, Virgos, who's carrying a lot of burdens, okay? They're going to eventually unblock you, all right? They want to come forward towards you. You guys have a lot of luck and a lot of goodness coming towards you. Wow, Virgos, what is all this? This is a lot of money all of a sudden. All right, Virgos, it looks like you guys are going to have a lot of money coming towards you, okay, sweethearts? Um, not only that, maybe there's a person that you guys are dealing with who could potentially be coming in from a from a rich family, okay, from a family that, that comes of wealth, okay, they might be a person of your, uh, it may be instantly um, a physical connection where you're just going to like love this person's face immediately, Virgos, not only that, <clears throat> you guys will be successful for sure, coming here to the lovers, to the ten of pentacles, to the wheel, this is good karma, Virgos, this is letting me know it's good karma, something good is, and beautiful is coming towards you, once you guys, is, you guys have suffered a lot in the love department, Virgos, okay, you have, and I feel like this is the universe and God, 
blessing you back with all the things that you guys have suffered from to the to the to the six of wands this is a really this is really good luck virgos not only that virgos like look at this justice okay if you guys are going through a court battle at the moment virgos dealing with another person i just want you guys to know that you guys are going to win that situation you guys are going to win it everything's going to go into your favor you guys are going to also get the money if you guys are waiting for money to come out of the situation with the court the money's going to come towards you virgos you guys are going to be a-okay uh not only that you guys are going to come into union with your twin flame here okay virgos um and I see a lot of good luck. So the wheel to the 10, that's a lot of money. That's abundant, okay? And uh, the lovers to this, to the 6, to the justice. Whatever it is that this person has caused you, Virgos, they are going to go through their karma. They have to go through their karmic lessons because they haven't learned from it yet. All right, Virgos? It looks like a beautiful reading to me. Um, I know we all go through some bad things, but at the end of the day, this, there's a secret. What is a secret? Let's see. The secret is, is that you're going to have all your wishes fulfilled. Thanks, Virgos. Bye.